Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a live attack. I'm taking on a Town Hall 11 base, doing 10v11 uh, this war. Um, and don't tell my clan mates this, but I think I might actually be better at 10v11. Maybe that's just because the success rate's much higher uh, than it is for 10v10, but I feel like I, um, I'm solid at it, and I'm hoping to get a 2 star here. Base is pretty good, but um, I've seen better, and I think. There's a plan that if the first part works, it can get very high percentage and it should go smoothly after the first part if it goes right. So let me tell you guys the idea. I'll try to go into some detail here and then we'll take a look and see how this attack goes. Um, my plan is basically this. Uh, I'm gonna lure out the CC with two giants. Now, the other uh, Town Hall 11s that we've seen have had small CCs. So I'm starting to suspect that there is a Baby Dragon Valk combination in here. Um, and if there is, that's fine. If it's a Hound Loon, I can take it out up here with a Baby Dragon and a Wizard. Just wait for it to pop, then drop a Poison. Um, so actually, I prefer it's a Hound, but it probably won't be. So I'll lure everything out with the two Giants. Then I will drop my uh, Archer Queen right back here with um, five healers on her in the corner and I will at some point drop a baby dragon here this is to help funnel you'll see why in a second and a baby dragon here now I have four baby dragons I need three for funneling the fourth is to take out the CC if it's a hound if it's not I might just drop the baby dragon to help my archer queen I don't want to have to rage her up prematurely especially if the CC gets over to her quickly um, if I can do like a long double poison that would be nice. I could avoid a rage, which um, would be beneficial. So we'll see uh, exactly how it goes. I'll just kind of play it by ear as a lot of attacks you have to do. But at some point, I will rage up my queen, and then I'll drop a giant to tank. And um, oh, I have three giants, two for the lure, one to tank. Um, giant, then just a few wall breakers. I have quite a few wall breakers. I have five, but under rage, I only need like two to open up that wall. So I'll drop in a couple, hopefully it'll get it open, but I have some backups just in case the rage should help out. Um, should be successful there. Uh, as soon as the, the walls open, my queen should walk in. The reason I'm taking these two out up here is if the queen starts going left, um, she should take out the air defense and the warden. Then it, she'll be standing like right here. And I'm thinking that the Archer Queen pad will pull her back around into the base right here, if that makes sense. So I want to have that extra security. I'm dropping a Valk right here at some point to, uh, or not a Valk, sorry, a Baby Dragon. I think I already said that. I can't remember now. I think I said the Baby Dragon to take this stuff out and make sure she doesn't go this way. It's always difficult to make the Queen walk straight into, the, into a compartment if she's not coming from one direction. Because she's not hugging the wall, she's starting off far back, especially with two layers of trash. So not the easiest, but I'm spending quite a bit of troop space to make sure it gets done right. Then my last baby dragon will be here. Um, I'll have a golem right here. As soon as I pop my queen's ability, when she's standing in here, when she's taking out the eagle, I'll use her ability around there. I have two rages, but I only want to use one. So if I, if I can get away with just one rage, that would be preferable. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'll pop her ability, drop the golem on the mortar here. Uh, then the baby dragon, a valk, maybe a bowler get this stuff cleared out right here. Then I'm gonna drop my CC, as well as um, another like eight or nine bowlers, jump, freeze, rage, heal, um, in some order like that. If I don't have a rage for my bowlers, um, it'll be disappointing, um, but I, you know, with, with the queen still up, I should be able to get the town hall, because you guys will see this jump right here, if I drop it right, will connect the queen to kind of meet up. And with no CC, she can just kind of do her thing, sit back, also help out. Um, so I think I'll have a lot moving into the base, assuming the first part goes right. So we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Um, also at the beginning, actually not at the beginning, because um, the CC, I don't want the CC to get weird on me. But at some point in the attack, I have a few minions for free buildings out here. So we'll see how it goes. The Teslas could be in here, that would complicate things. Um, but you know, this is the first attack. This is the beauty of 10 v 11. You don't know where things are, makes it, um, you know, a lot of room for variability. You don't know what's going to happen as much as you do in a 10 v 10 almost. So we'll see how this one goes. Make sure I have everything. Yep. Looks good. 
That wizard is just for the CC, but I can drop it as needed if the CC is not a hound or loon. Um, gotta just kind of be prepared for both, I guess, because it's a fresh hit. Um, freeze, jump, two rages, heal, poisons, CC, both heroes. Okay, let's try this one out. Uh, base we are hitting here is, oops, looks like we got number four, and that's going to be a two-star. Nice, so maybe I'll finish off two and three, hopefully, and we'll be done. Um, good job on the 11 so far. Well, actually, okay job. We're, I guess, two for four now, which is about average, 50%. Um, hopefully, I can bring it up, but Zach with a 55%. Nice stuff there. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Sorry if I sound kind of weird. Allergy season is late this year. All right, just I like to remember the first few steps. So, giant, giant. If it's a hound CC, we pull it up here. If it's a regular CC, we drive that archer. Yeah. If it's a regular CC, um, oh, I almost forgot my do not disturb. That could have been bad. All right, go back in here. Um, if it's a regular CC, I'll just drop my queen right there on between these two. Um, that'll be out of range of that. And, um, baby dragon, healers. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do this. All right. Start with the giants. Nice, it is a hound CC. Okay, now we just wait a little bit, get the poison ready. Should take all those pups out. Okay, get the queen started. We'll get the giant rage wall breaker combo going. It's all right, not that big of a deal, I can adjust. All right, my queen's being targeted. Just how I like it. Gonna have to use the king as a funnel. Not too shabby, huh? Oh, this guy has the, uh, yeah, the corner uh, Tesla's to try to, yeah, I can't put my minions there, that's annoying. Um, what do I have? I guess I'll poison the king. Where can I put minions, though? I guess I can grab this up here. Um, what else can I get? Not a whole lot, really. Um, let's try to drop these three right here, I guess. Yep, 
56 percent i'll take it uh pretty solid two star plan didn't quite go as the planned i probably would have got a little bit more uh, percentage had i got my queen in the base but everything worked out okay and, and we'll take a look at the replay here um let's see how we could have uh adjusted things how the plan went um yeah my my queen actually is pretty well behaved in terms of always getting that cc or not the cc the town hall she always steps up for me it seems like um and she doesn't do it for many other people but uh hound loon cc i was surprised the other three i think all three of them had a uh, valk baby dragon cc which is not um which is not actually, it's kind of a split. At Town Hall 11, you can see either one. So right here, drew them both to the corner. I had the wizard just to get some initial damage out. Didn't want to waste too much time there. Um, the wizard also helped lure them to the corner. Then the baby dragon does the work from there. Uh, the poison spell was perfect right, uh, right there. You don't want to drop the poison too early because the lava hound will actually run away because it will have nothing to target and it will... Um, recognize it's in a poison spell with no troops to target so it'll try to get out of it so make sure you drop the poison if you're doing this type of attack right as the hound pops not too early um, okay so I had the baby dragons uh, on each side actually only got one building from that baby dragon um, which didn't even matter so a pretty expensive building uh, that elixir storage up by the grand warden or the elixir collector um, but got some decent value here the baby dragons kind of step up sometimes in weird fashions, which I hate because they get in range of these air defenses when they probably don't need to. The wall breakers got weird. If they all focused on the one wall, they would have got it open with the help of that extra wall breaker right there. But two of them went off towards these type, these walls over there for whatever reason. I guess the placement wasn't great. I kind of was worried about the wizard tower. I should have planned out the wall breakers a little bit better. But um, luckily the queen goes the better way for me, um, which is towards the entry point. If she went away, this probably would not have been a two star. Right here, I had to pop the ability because the expo was taking her down. Everything's on the golem, which uh, probably took too much damage. I kind of delayed the funnel because I was watching my queen. Um, so it pops pretty early. I went ahead and dropped the king to the right just to funnel everything. I was afraid the bowlers would walk and they probably would have had I not dropped the king over there. So probably a good adjustment. Uh, I saw my queen was going so I into the base, so I recognized the king wasn't necessary to go into the base. I just had to make sure everything else besides him did and that's pretty much what happened. So um, these bowlers actually, I almost called victory too early because a bunch of bowlers died right as um, they were about to get the town hall, but the queen's just sitting right there with not much honor. She gets that and uh, that's pretty much it, 55%. This guy had his Teslas out here, which is um, tricky. Uh, I don't know where the fourth Tesla was. Yeah, he has them in like three of the corners of the base. So that definitely defends against the minions, which I was hoping to drop on the outside, but I at least get the army camp taken out and that'll get me to 56%. So not too bad. I guess I'll do another 10 v 11 and uh, hopefully that goes for two star as well this war. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, Bisectatron out.